Cusco, the ancient imperial capital of Peru. One of the most beautiful cities I have ever been in. It's a city with a lot of history, a lot of culture, and of course, a lot of food. I've been here for a few days now just admiring the architecture, visiting the ruins, basically soaking up everything the city has to offer. And surprisingly, it's got really good pizza here. But today for lunch, I want to get off the beaten path. I want to go where the locals go. So we're going to go visit the popular San Pedro market. But before we do, there's, there's a woman selling watermelon and it's really hot. I need to get a slice of watermelon. Gracias. I hope all the food in the market tastes as good as this first bite. Shall we begin? As soon as you go into this market, you're kind of bombarded by the colors, at least from this entrance I just went into. And they sell everything here. Everything you'll, you'll ever want in Peru, they have in this market. And of course, as we walk deeper in, your sense is going to be bombarded with something else, the smell of spices and food. And that's what we're here for today. Let's go. All I smell is the beautiful aroma of fruits because all they sell in here is fruit smoothies. And since I'm about to eat a lot of stuff that's probably not the healthiest, let's start off with a smoothie. So I just ordered the Medio Especial, which is the special smoothie. And that has apparently all the fruits she has. A couple of carrots, papaya, uh, pineapple. That was a lot of carrots, by the way. Apple. Banana. Banana. Wow. So if you order the Medio Especial, 10 soles, you get four glasses. I wasn't anticipating this, but you know what? Since I ordered that, it's very fruity. That makes sense because there's a lot of fruit that went in there. Really, really thick. I don't think I'm going to be really hungry if I, if I drink all four of these, but... Mm. But what a good deal. I'm just gonna walk and drink. That was a lot of juice. You guys didn't see this, but after the four glasses of smoothie was finished, she gave me an extra glass because that's how much was left in the blender. Also, there's about one, two, three, four aisles here of people. All they sell is smoothie and at the same price and exactly the same items. It's just really interesting. This section caught my eye. All they sell here is just bread. Everywhere I look, is this bread. I mean, this is my happy place. This looks really cool. This bread looks like a, a pan torta. Pan torta. Uh, uno, por favor. She told me this is good. I, I think I think this is good too. I mean, it looks good. Also, it looks like a, like a flying saucer. And there's sesame seeds on top. I don't know the proper way to eat this. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of the uh, top of the flying saucer. It's flaky, crusty on the outside. Chinchy bit sweet, really crumbly. Mm, I love the part. It has that slightly bitter crust flavor all over and inside. It's just tender, slightly sweet bread. Let me dig out a little part of the inside here. Look at that. I'm gonna keep this on me and whenever I'm hungry, I just take a bite. I think I wander onto the uh, extremely healthy aisle. All I see are quinoa, macas, basically a ton of super healthy superfoods. Uh, I'm just looking for meat. Where are the meats at? Here we go, guys. I think we finally found what we're looking for. It's just food everywhere. I don't even know where to start. I guess we're gonna start just like every good story at the beginning. This is the first real food section I came to and they're selling some sort of really interesting soup. I want some soup. Let's go get some soup. It seems that a lot of locals like this soup. I'm gonna get what they're getting. Wow, she's cutting pieces of chicken. This is, this is some, whoa, with a stone. Wow. Uh, no, no broccoli. No, no, no. I hate broccoli. No, thank you. What's your gracias? Spicy. Spicy, oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Si, si, si. Oh, yeah. This is my first main thing I'm eating in this market. And look at this. This is maxed out chicken noodle soup. This is chicken noodle soup taken up to all the levels it could ever be taken up. Pickled carrots on top. There's some uh, potatoes here. Um, let's just try the broth. Whoa. That completely took me by surprise. This broth is intense. It's not mild like typical chicken noodle soup. It's a little bit vinegary, citrusy. I think there's lemon or lime in here. It's salty, it's lemony, it's extremely chickeny. 
Make sure you love shush. Let's see what else is in here. So she cut off a piece of chicken. We all saw that with a, with a rock, no less. And then there's another piece of chicken hiding on the bottom of this noodle soup. Oh my God, that's a chicken butt. And it still has its claws on it. If I wasn't like really familiar with chicken feet, I'd be a little scared right now. I mean, that's intense. You gotta be able to handle this noodle soup. And let me just try the noodles itself. It's really soft, tender. Really no chew to it whatsoever. It just goes with the soup. I don't know if this is the thing you, you will want if you have a cold war fever because like I said, this ain't mild. This is chicken noodle soup with an attitude. And let me just try this chicken. Mm. Chicken is extremely, extremely tender. Really not a lot of seasoning to that besides salt. That actually pairs so well with the soup because they're out of contrast with each other. I gotta take a bite of this chicken feet. Wow. This is actually a really scary looking chicken feet. I'm slightly intimidated by this chicken feet. Slightly. Okay. The scale was still on that chicken feet. I think I need to chase that with a, with a bit of soup. Uh, she told me as well that there's a spice element to it. Check this out. She has a wide array of chilies. Look at all this. This is all chilies that you can put inside your soup. This stuff is really spicy. So I'm just gonna put a little in my soup. Oh, wow. I think she's, she's challenging me right now. Yeah, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Gracias. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, oh. oh gracias, gracias. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm pretty sure she thinks I'm gonna die. She's laughing at me like I'm just the biggest idiot in the world. I think I am as well. So let me just try a little bit of the soup that just touched the spice. <laughs> ah, spicy. Ah, spicy. That just punched my throat right there. I gotta try this though. Oh my goodness. Everyone is looking at me, shaking their head like I'm about to die. I'm so scared right now. It, you know what? I can handle it. I can handle it. I can do it. I need a bite of noodles, but I'm okay. Okay. They keep offering me this one. I think I tried one of these before. I mean, half tried and I couldn't go through with it, but let me just do it. Yeah, that's the spiciest one. Wow. Yeah, that's spicy. The other peppers, more pickly, they're vinegary. That one was like a whooper right to hell for a second there. And I think it's pretty good with this. It adds a lot of depth to this noodle soup. Oh. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Let's keep eating. Wow, I, I don't know what they're serving here, but it's full. Bugs Bunny is peddling it. I need to eat here if I can find an empty space to sit. Ooh, right there. They, they were out of beef. This place is just popping. I, I took the last seat. All the food looks really good. I'm really excited. This is my friend Chris. I just met him. He said this place is awesome, right? You're right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this place, they serve a lot of meat, a lot of different types of meat. That's my kind of place. My soup's here. Thanks, Chris. Gracias. The soup is pungent. My friend Chris here tells me this is a soup. The reason why it's pungent is because this soup is made with just a bunch of the random beef parts. So I'm thinking there's, there's a lot of organs in here. I can smell intestine. Ooh but it is tasty. Mm. All those different cow parts does the soup a lot of good. I mean, it's, it's a little complex, really beefy, but it's not the typical beef flavor you'll find in a bowl of, I don't know, beef noodle soup in Taiwan. It tastes a little uh, organy, a little livery. It's delicious though. If you, if you don't mind the pungent smell, Really good soup. My place finally here. Just, just look at these scrumptious beef ribs. I wish I could share some with you guys because I got a lot at the same time. I also don't because I want to eat it all. It looks so good. I'm sorry, I, I was kind of out of it for about 10 seconds because this flavor literally knocked the consciousness out of me. The meat is charred on the outside. See how charred it is? And the inside is tender. So you get this huge meaty gelatinous flavor in every single bite you take. Mm. I love beef tendon. This, my friend, this is a satisfying piece of beef. Because the beef is really fatty, I need, I need some of this cold, spicy salad. So I just take a bite of beef, chase it with some rice and salad. 
Oh, that's nice. A lot of onions, a lot of tomatoes, a lot of heat. That helps balance the entire plate out really, really well. This is really good. Beef, salad, and rice. Mm. Occasionally some fries. And this is a very popular dish called Tado in Saltado. And Saltado is something I've been eating a lot since I came to Peru. And this version, it comes with noodles, again, tomatoes, onions, and it's chicken this time. And this gentleman sitting across from me told me this is muy bien. Muy bien? Muy bien. <laughs> okay. He told me this is awesome, this is really delicious. He is not wrong. This is ridiculously delicious. Good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm eating my own body weight today. We're gonna get to this in just a second. This is kind of like a Chinese lo mein, but very tomato-y, very saucy. Tomatoes, light, sweet, delicious. I want a fork full with the onions. This is basically everything I love about Lomo Saltado in a stir-fried noodle form. Oh, how could I forget? I forgot there's fries in Lomo Saltado. This is a great dish. Only 14 soles, about four bucks. And look at the amount you get. Value and flavor right here. This dish is called Ducha Frida, and the owner of this stall heavily recommended this to me. And when he did, everybody else nodded in agreement. So yeah, I had to get it. He told me it's river fish. Whole fish is on the plate with some fries, of course, and, and rice as in typical Peruvian fashion. The meat is a little pink, kind of like salmon meat. Wow. What is this good? The fish is extremely tender. Mm. I'm sorry it's crispy. It seems that everybody who's coming to this particular stall is ordering this dish. So far, I'm really enjoying this market. There's a ton of different food stalls. I, I'm, I'm really a stranger to most of this food item. I, I do have my Peruvian friends with me who are suggesting different things, but in general, they're just kind of buying their own stuff and I'm just looking at things that taste good and I'm ordering it. And so far, most things have been pretty much on the mark. One thing is, man, I, I know Peruvian food is flavored very strongly, and I said I like that, but I feel like I had so much sodium today. I'm actually missing that smoothie I had when I first came in. So I'm gonna wrap this up, and then I'm gonna go for some fruits because, oh man, do I need some fruit. Oh, there's a lot of dishes, a lot of dishes in here. I'm at the fruit aisle, and there's some Peruvian fruits I really wanna try, really unique ones. I'll show you guys. First thing we're gonna eat is a tumbo. I never had this before. This is a jungle fruit, and you break it open. I think that's how you eat it. You just break it in half. And it looks like pomegranate seeds almost on the inside. Orange, green. It smells kind of like a papaya. Wow. No, oh, seeds are really hard. It's, wow. It's, it's really tangy. Making my tongue like numb almost. Not really into this. This is a grenadilla. I, I tried this my first day here. This thing is delicious. Now, Auntie has a special way of opening this. You smack it on your head. <laughs> when I first saw this, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because the, the outer shell kind of looks like an egg and the inner parts, they look a little like alien eggs. It may look weird, but oh my goodness, is it ever delicious. It's so incredibly juicy. They also kind of resemble pomegranate. There's seeds on the inside, but the seeds are a lot less tough than the, than the thing I had before. And it's actually quite, enjoyable to crunch down these seeds, but the juice that's in these, you see that little, those little capsules? That's all juice inside, ready to burst in your mouth. The seeds itself are, are slightly tangy, but this thing is so sweet, so delicious. One of my favorite fruits, gracias. One of my favorite fruits in Peru. This is cherry mora. Chirimoya. 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 Gracias. This is Chirimoya. I had this once before. This thing also completely surprised me because it is so delicious. So incredibly delicious. You open it by just grabbing both ends and you just pull it open and that's what you see. And as soon as you open it, you get that just beautiful fruit fragrance that basically tells you that this, this is the fruit of the gods, my friend. And to eat it, really simple, break off a piece and just eat that white part. My thing is also extremely juicy, extremely sweet. I would compare this as, as part pear, part lychee. Oh, see, see, my auntie just told me that um, this, this only exists in Peru, which is a shame because, gosh, if you ever get a chance to try this fruit, take that opportunity, I guarantee you, you're gonna absolutely love this. It's such a delicious fruit. So good, so fragrant. Even the aftertaste, even after the juice has left, 
the fruit is gone. The aftertaste is just incredibly intoxicating. My auntie just, just showed me how to open this. This is a pizza haya. I never had this before. It kind of looks like a yellow dragon fruit. She just told me this thing. Oh, do you see all that juice squirt out? Whoa, it, it looks like a dragon fruit. A much juicier version of a dragon fruit. Wow. Muy bien. Wow. Wow. Oh. 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 I found my favorite fruit of my lifetime. Wow. I don't even like dragon fruit because dragon fruit is not this juicy. It's not this sweet. The texture is not like dragon fruit either, I don't think. I feel like it's much softer. The flavor is so much sweeter. If somebody makes this thing into a drink, I, I would just IV that thing in my arm. Oh, the bottom was where all the juice has kind of fallen to. I'm sorry about that, but it had to be done. This is only in Colombia and Peru. It's a jungle fruit. Oh my goodness. No wonder Mowgli never wanted to leave the jungle. Wait, that's a different continent. I'm sorry, but if <laughs> I'm just saying, it's that good. Life changing, must get. What else can I say? By the way, this is Auntie Celia. Uh, last time I tried to cut the fruit, I think I almost sliced through my hand. So Auntie Celia is gonna slice, what is this called? Pepino. Pepino. I already see juice flowing out of it. And the inside, as you can see, it kinda, it's orange. It looks like, almost like, like, like a mango. Mm. Yeah, after we go dancing, go dancing, eat some fruit, feel good. I need this because it's good for my stomach, you said. Oh, so after I dance, which is never. This tastes like a slightly less sweet, but more juicy cantaloupe. This is, this is almost intoxicating to eat. Mm. Mm. Wow. They belong in the Garden of Eden. Oh my goodness. But I'm glad they're here though. Mm. Mucho gracias. Had a great time with my auntie here. Check her out this market. She's awesome. She's really awesome. Oh, so much food. You know, getting to check out a local market, getting to eat a lot of great food, meeting some fantastic, lovely people, and taking home some bread and fruit. I count that a pretty fun day. But seriously, the people of Peru, some of the warmest, nicest, friendliest people I have ever met in all my years of travel. I had so much fun in this country. I'll definitely be back again. And I really would recommend you guys, if you're thinking about coming to Peru, don't think, just do it. Again, as always, the information for this market is listed in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. And until we eat again, I'll see you later.